Welcome back. This is Hope Roski with The Wedding Show. Well, let me tell you what. You're thinking about getting married and you're saying, hmm, where should I have my wedding? Let me tell you, Painted Table is the place you want to look. And I am fortunate enough to have very up-to-date, trendy event planner with me. And his name is Jorge Soda. Welcome, Jorge. It's so wonderful to have you here on Central Valley Talks, The Wedding Show. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Besides the rain, but that never stops us, so no. I'm doing fantastic. That's wonderful. And I'm glad to be here. Well, we're glad to have you. Well, here's the thing. You know, people come in for this, you know, their big day, and they people are just throwing ideas after ideas with them. And so one of the things, you know, is how do you start to go about this whole planning process? Can you describe a little bit about how you go about and just break it down so it's not so overwhelming for a couple coming in? Yeah, it really, as an event producer, and, you know, going in is one component of what we do at the Painted Table events, the Painted Table Catering and Event Company. Yes. Um, and then it goes into where we leverage into full service planning, day of coordinating, and being a partial planner. Um, and really it's taking those clients' visions and being able on the other end to streamline them because they do have many ideas and yes. all of them are beautiful, but some of them don't align. So you're there as that expert to help guide them with their best interest and give them the event and the wedding of their dreams. And having the tools and the skill to be able to do that in the right way instead of uh, gear them away from what they're wanting and not creating a back and forth for them to be like, no, no, I wanted this. And being able to interpret that, lock it in and streamline it out for them is one of the biggest components. Well, and I love how you use the term and what you are is an event producer. Yeah. And so it has to do with planning, but sure you are, you are producing the biggest day of somebody's life. I really, I like that title. I think that's a great thing. Remember that folks event producer. So one of the other things when we talk about the events that you produce mm -hmm. at the Painted Table, can you tell me about some of the things besides weddings? Yeah, I, it's full scale. And this valley just has a plethora of you know, whether it's corporates, private dinners, mm -hmm. things like that, that people want and need. Yes. <laughs> so uh, you have the anniversaries, you know, whether they're 30 year anniversaries, we travel across the valley to help produce these events for them and put them on in full service cater. And uh, so you have formals, schools reaching out to put on their winter formals. And we had an amazing client come in and we did a full decor for their winter formal. And so that was such a treat for them. Um, we also do private events. So you have people who like to host intimate private dinners. Um, and it's the putting it on and the execution of that as well. So there's a lot of different components. And then corporates, you have those corporate dinners, uh, large scale um events for them, their annual events, their staff appreciation events where, you know, they're having fun with all their, their employees and doing their raffles for, you know, Christmas yes. and showing that appreciation. And they rely on you to help provide their guests and their staff that same experience. But baby showers, bridal showers, we do it you all. You do it all. That's yes. great. That's fabulous. So tell me a little bit more about some of the services. I mean, once they come in and they say, oh gosh, where do I get my flowers? And what other services does the painted table have to offer? Yeah, and that's one of the biggest that's one of the biggest areas and the most fun is that we're able to capture it all. We have an amazing in-house floral specialist, Anita Sanchez. Ooh. So and her craft and what she does and being able to take that to her and share the vision um, scale and stuff. And you know, sometimes you partner with the great relationships you have with florists as mm -hmm. well. But in-house, we're able to take that, bring it to life, and execute it. And what we have at our fingertips um, with the warehouses and, <laughs> and the items we have and in-house floral, it's like the sky's the limit. And it's a lot of fun to see it because, you know, they bring an inspiration thing to you. But then you have to translate that into reality. And it's a it's fun journey. So one of the things that we talked about last week when uh, Zach was here, we talked about how color is playing into food 
Tell me how overall it's now playing into the latest trends and oh, what absolutely. you're seeing, because I think that's really key. Yes. Yeah, so, and that's the fun part with the weddings. We love a beautiful white rose wedding and, you know, that greenery, the splash of greenery that was incorporated in there, but really it's taken such a shift where brides and grooms and couples um, are having so much more fun playing with colors. And you're getting that vibrancy into these weddings now. And it's playing off, you know, into a centerpiece, the floral arrangements. And it's really, I, I say this jokingly, but I really mean it. Um, Bridgington sh flipped a lot on its head. <laughs> and um, the, the boho woodsy, I mean, not the boho, the farmhouse woodsy feel. Yes. Um, and those kind of darker tone colors are not so there anymore and 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 they're beautiful and we love to produce them but it's exciting and invigorating and refreshing to see brides come and be like give me the fuchsias give me you know these vibrant beautiful colors to incorporate these you know spring yellows and things like that so what i'd like to do is have an opportunity to look at some of the pictures you brought because you know colors are great but visual <laughs> visual yes, visual yes, here yes. so let's take a look at what you you have right here so here you definitely see the boho this is a lighter version of it but mm -hmm. those top uh, chandeliers or you know version of them um, these are more geared towards that boho bra that vibe but yes what you immediately catch your eye to is the floral arrangements and that pink on those tables and that's what they're having a lot of fun with doing and um, being able to explore and incorporate those colors that you have those softer tones that wood and stuff like that but so it's not as you were talking about that dark no farmhouse. we're just going going lighter yes. more fresh and it's appearance yeah and it's a fun energy and guests uh, it's like that pop of color that mm -hmm. they're seeing and it's exciting so okay let's take a look at the next one this is definitely geared towards maybe your bridal, your baby showers, and then those translating into the wedding. Um, floral, again, the colors and things that are being incorporated is a lot of fun. Right, and I see the, the coral with the floral. Yes, there's <laughs> coral, floral, you see definitely those, coral, different, those different tones yes. of pink through and mm -hmm. how some of them may be matte or monochromatic mm -hmm. and they're playing off of each other and it's a lot of, it's a lot of, I say it over and over, but it's just a fun experience to I see bet it the is. shift. Yeah. Of course. And then we have one more. Now this brings us to the boho vibe and a lot of those uh, grays and being monochromatic here. Um, but this is definitely that trend and what you're seeing run across like from the first picture all the way through um in a weddings now and you know it, it has that boho vibe but one of the things you had also mentioned is some of the simplicity it mm -hmm. doesn't have to be like so overdone correct? yeah not at all and between the pampas now coming in the wick the wicker kind of aesthetic and stuff um it's just it's beautiful well my goodness Jorge there are so many trends that are you know it seems like it's currently you know just you know just like revol revolving around and you know there's like a new evolution every time you yeah, turn. yeah it evolves so every, every single, single day, day yes so how do you keep up with all of that I mean what are you doing because you have to be on point with all of this how do you keep yourself up to date so of uh, social media is the now at our fingertips and stuff but what I personally try to do and bring um, is watching everything that's happening around the world like the country because that is what leverages over to our market and you know that our bride and groom de demographic and things like that you see it happening in you know on the east coast a lot too so i follow and look at things worldwide instead of just kind of local because that's what feeds into our market it ends up catching on as a trend somewhere first then working its way this way so between like new york washington Dubai, you know, London, <laughs> all of those places that have great, you know, 
creative minds too. It's just like, you know, fashion, what ends up in our closet first was on a runway. So Mm -hmm. it's a lot of that. And you see it in interior design as well. That's a really big driving component of what then translates into the wedding industry. So it's all over, but I definitely ensure to make sure to follow the map. (laughs) Well, that's good. That's no, that's really great to know. And I'm sure there's some people that come in and they just are completely clueless. They don't even like no it's like i don't know what i like i don't know what yeah you know, my partner likes or you know it's just it's so over the board so yeah. if somebody were to say to you i just can't decide what do you think is best mm-hmm. where how would you guide them i mean do, it, do you have like a little survey or how do you just kind of put it all together for those yeah people? so what we try to do is key in on top top things about them you know what what are their primary colors what do they like what do, what do they do not like we mm. take that and then curate them into mood boards and we try to establish a couple different options for them no more than three mm-hmm. because then you're able to narrow down and them not get tunnel vision and being able to say oh I like this element I like this combine these now so utilizing those resources and tools to create you know, that vision that the client didn't know they had um, is always a great thing for us to do with our clients. And I think that's great because you could put it back on them. Yeah, yeah. you're making the final decision, the final but decision. I'm going to help make it come true <laughs> in one way or another. And they like that and they appreciate it because they came in not knowing what they wanted or how they wanted it. And you were able to formulate that into something that could say, oh, this is the type of experience I can have. These are the things I like, the, the elements I don't. And you kind of scratch those and then you put together what they ended up wanting. So speaking of experiences, how do you integrate technology into the special day? <laughs> so we at the Painted Table have an amazing technology system called Total Party Planner. And Oof. it is total and it's, you know, our main what we're known for and what we are, you know, the catering, its level of, you know, cuisine and everything, it drives that. But on the event producing side, you're able to utilize the tool to drill down client timelines, reminders, um, your whole profile deck of, you know, a client, um, all those notes and communicate with the client and the client communicate with you as well in real time. I think previously there was a lot, you know, there may have been a lot of lag time, but with the systems we use, you're providing that real time experience experience and that real-time feedback and you're updating all of your uh, all your departments with it so streamlining that out and having everybody be able to have one resource like this technology based system that we use just catapults us to be able to operate at the level that we do and people on the you know as they're moving towards that big day are already stressed enough as it is and they are constantly probably asking questions (laughs) (laughs) I would guess I know I did, (laughs) but that's one of the things that makes it so nice that you have the technology to make them, give them that comfort and that support. Mm -hmm. And I think that's fabulous. Is there anything that you would like to leave our viewers with, with a little piece of words of wisdom here? (laughs) Uh, It's, it's never too late to start early. Um, I mean, it's never too early to start early or, you know, that thing. um, And it's out of sight, out of mind and, peace of mind really because the sooner you get started also to the brides and grooms and people you know wanting these events they don't realize how resourceful and how important it could be to have you know a wedding planner or an event producer curate these things for them and it be completely stress-free and that's what we like to pride ourselves on and do for our clients and giving them that one-stop shop experience where you come to us and we can take care of it from beginning to end and on site and through the entire thing so I just think that's absolutely Mm -hmm. Magnificent. (laughs) So if you are looking for somebody to produce your wedding, this is Jorge Soda. Jorge Soto is at the Painted Table, and how can they reach you? What's the best way? Yeah, so they can reach us online at thepaintedtablecatering.com, Instagram, the Painted Table Fresno, and you know, believe it or not, I'll t- with this takeaway, I'm just one of four of us. So when we have an army of people at every end, so I'm one of four event producers My at goodness. the Painted Table. We have Vanessa Youngblood, we have Augie Sanchez, and we have Alicia Ibarra. 
Well, I think that's fantastic. Well, I want to take this opportunity again to thank you, Jorge, for coming on the yes. show. I hope it gets you back again in yes. the near future. This yes. has been yes. fun. This has been a lot of fun. And viewers, again, please reach out to Jorge or any of the staff at The Painted Table. And we will look forward to seeing you next month in March. Make it a great rest of your day and stay dry.